Hello everyone and welcome back to part 67 of our EA Sports WRC Let's Play. Yes, we return today with the start of a brand new season. Of course, if you missed out on the finale uh, from the weekend, Seb Ogie, Oit Tanak and Thierry Neuville battling it out for the crown in Rally Forum 8 Japan. I would highly recommend going back and checking it out. But of course, yeah, we took yesterday off. We are back today then with the start of, I guess, technically season six of this game. We are, we're doing a lot still of EA, it's WRC at the moment. And this season, I'm actually quite happy to provide some good news as well because we have not only retained our rally one status uh, but we've also got a fantastic secondary challenge as well this season we have obviously got to try and get eight podium finishes and beat m sport ford in the world rally championship uh, but we've also got to try and finish fourth or higher in the world rally car team championship of the modern classic summer tour so we've got another six events on the side that they aren't a regularity rally. We did have the option for a regularity rally again. And I was like, I just don't want it. I just don't want to do it. Uh, so that's what we've opted for this season. And I think, if I remember correctly, I have bought an old school Mitsubishi Evo 6. Um, which is going to be very, very fun to run alongside our Hyundai i20. Now, normally, I would just mix up uh, which Rally 1 car we're running, but honestly, I thought we got so used to the Hyundai last season. Uh, they do keep tweaking and changing the Rally 1 cars as well, apparently, uh, in the patches. I was like, I just want to stick with what I know, uh, and hopefully, of course, this season, we can try and bring glory to Hyundai as well. There, We have got a little bit of spare money as well in the budget, if I feel like running in any other championship over the course of this season, um, but I'm hoping, of course, as we build up the confidence in this Rally 1 car, we're going to be able to do a few more events on the side. As I've mentioned before, once we win the Rally 1 title, my plan is to try and go back into either WRC 2 or Junior WRC and build our own car to hopefully try and win the crown, which should be good fun. Uh, just to, you know, try and add a little bit more to this game mode as well, uh, because obviously I'm loving playing this game and I don't want to see it go anywhere anytime soon. But yeah, of course, we return today then with the start of the FIA World Rally Championship. We're back in Rally Monte Carlo. This one, hopefully, we can have a better run than we did last year where we narrowly missed out on points. Quickly though, before we get into that, I want to thank today's video sponsor, Fanatec. Yes, I have used Fanatec gear now for many, many years, and they still are a dominant force in the sim racing space. If you're racing on Xbox or PC, nothing really comes close, and their PC offerings are still absolutely brilliant. If you're interested in ever shopping for any Fanatec products, it would be greatly appreciated if you would use my link down in the description below. At no addition cost to yourself you massively help support the channel and yeah i just want to say thank you for fanatech for their continued support hi everyone i'm molly pettit and welcome to the opening round of the fia world rally championship it's not too long now until the crews take to the stages here at the iconic rally monte carlo the teams will be testing their metal against a location which has provided plenty of challenge during its long wrc history Tough, unpredictable conditions look to be on the cards for this event, with crews relying as much on drivers' adaptability as they are on choosing the right setup. A look at the standings now, and they are wide open at this first edition of the championship. Every team and crew will be looking to get some points on the board and lay a good foundation for the rest of the season. Of course, yeah, we've done this one a few times before. We kind of know uh, what we should be expecting over the course of this event. Tricky conditions... Uh, through a couple of the stages, but yeah, a shortish one followed by a long one followed by three shorter stages again. We know also uh, we should have a chance going into the Wolf Power stage uh, based on last season's pace. So yeah, though tyres obviously are going to be a little bit difficult to try and manage this weekend, especially obviously through those icy stages. You do get one set of the winter tyres that we'll have to use on stage one and two. And then I believe after that, uh, we'll have to bolt on a set of the softs. Although it does say yeah, it's a 100% asphalt right the way through. So I think actually what we'll do is bolt on the winter tyres and then basically just try and stay on them as long as possible here because the ice uh, is going to be persistent. And of course, if I do the shakedown on a winter tyre, I also get an extra set as well, which is really, really crucial. That's why you always do your shakedowns Starts on like this left. game. As I've mentioned, it's a little bit of a shame that they don't change up the calendar between seasons, uh, but it means we do know where we're going. 
And by that, I sort of mean, obviously, you only do a five-stage rally. I know, obviously, if I set it longer, then we do, like, seven or eight. Um, but it also obviously means that we do the same five stages. And where most rallies kind of have, you know, 12 or 13, you end up normally just doing most of the short ones for the most part, which I don't mind too much, but it would be cool. I um, you know, if they mixed it up a little bit as well there, but of course, yeah, returning then the Hyundai to familiar territory. I am looking forward to this. I'm hoping, at the very least, we can just start the year with a few points on the board. Now we kind of know what to expect from the competition. And of course, yeah, we built up a fair amount of momentum towards the end of last season as well. They really did go through a good run of scoring points and a lot of rallies towards the end of the campaign. To make our way through the shakedown run then. All fairly simple, all fairly textbook. Gonna be 56.2 seconds come the end of the shakedown. And yeah, I feel ready then to dive into uh, into stage number one. So we'll keep on this first set of the snow tires. I assume we've got no repairs. Nope, but you always double check. Here we go then. Stage number one of the rally. And yeah, looking forward to this one, of course. Uh, just want to try and, you know, good luck. Score some points first round of the year. And, you know, I think with the exception of, say, Mexico and a couple of others, I want to try and score points everywhere if possible. But I'm sure mistakes will happen over the course of the season. Mexico and Greece, they're going to be the tough ones over the course of this championship. Yeah, Monte Carlo last season, we finished 11th. So we'd love to try and go better than that this time round. I actually know where we're going for our first bit of this first stage. I can remember it well. Only because I did it within the last two minutes. Um, but apart from that, then, just obviously want to keep it fairly clean. We know stage two can be very weird here. AI struggle through some splits, but are very quick through others. So We'll see how we stack up by the end. Because obviously... I'm Pretty certain, actually, you no. Know, maybe the final couple of corners of this first stage do have snow, um, but the rest of it doesn't. So it kind of lulls you into thinking maybe I should have gone soft. You don't. Stick with the winter tyres here as two seconds up then by the end of the first split. Happy with that. But now we're kind of going back into out. Um, yeah, I don't quite know now, obviously, where I'm going for right, most of the rest of this stage. But, yeah, looking forward to getting back into it. I had some questions as well from you guys about the kind of stage delta tracker on the left-hand side. I don't try to look at it much anymore, uh, but I do leave it up just for you guys. Just because it's, you know, it helps you sort of understand where I am on the stage, where I've sort of gone quick or more likely slower than the AI. Um, but, yeah, it kind of just obviously adds that little bit extra to it. So we almost hit the outside wall there. Want to be more careful of that. But yeah, very, very high speed first stage before we really kind of go into what you expect from Monte Carlo. Twisting, winding roads and hairpins. We go blast through the towns. Yeah, this thing is fast still, isn't it? These rally one cars are never fully... Um, you know, kind of appreciate, or not appreciate, but process the speed. I don't think you really can, ultimately. I don't think you can ever get totally used to these things, or at least my brain can. Not on these kind of roads. But, yeah, if we can try and stay close to Thierry Neuville then by the end of this first stage, the ideal. Don't hear that. Thank you. Because those are still solid. Uh, but, yeah, I believe we do end up. Oh, no! Great. I believe we do end up with a little bit of snow on this first stage, or icy roads. That's a good way to throw a few seconds off and pick up a little bit of damage in the process. I think we did avoid doing too much to the car, though. Yeah, six seconds down immediately. That is a shame. Like I said, stage two can be the tricky one as we head into the ice. It's the worst ice rally of the year um, because the tyres aren't really designed for it. I know they are technically snow tyres, um, but yeah, they don't work in the way snow tyres do in, say, Sweden. Funnily enough, I feel like the French government would have issues with us going around here with studded tyres everywhere and things like that. But, yeah, as we start feeling the car slipping and sliding around underneath us a little bit. There we go. There we get into the real stuff. 
try and use the grass as best as possible. There you go. See it. It's like looking at glass. Through the final couple of corners. Try and get over here. This is, of course, where all the drivers had issues IRL. Um, but we know better, kind of. You will. Feels like reliably at the end of this first stage, lose time around these bits. But through the final real corner, I believe. Towards the line. Yeah, we've lost a fair amount there in the end. Uh, where does that leave us? 12 seconds off. We'll just cut that slightly. Avoid that post on the outside, but yeah, we survived stage one there or thereabouts. Like I said, stage two is the unpredictable one where you can either gain or lose a load. Parked, I think we're going to say the AI game clearly disagrees. Um, yeah, let's have a look then where we stacked up in the end. Thierry Neuville was obviously fast. We were 11th. So exactly where we finished last season here. We have started this rally. Hoffman up in P5. Hoping he has another good season underneath him. Um, but yeah, Seb Ogier, of course, reigning champion. Right there at the front with obviously your Neuvilles and your Rovin Perez. But yeah, with that little mistake as well, I'm not too worried. So let's get into stage two. Well, to be fair, the car doesn't actually Start look too bad. Um, left. Good but yeah, this is the long one. This is the big five, daddy of the four, Monaco stages. Three, two, one, go. Late very, very four, fast nine, early on through winding six, roads. Five, um, but yeah, then you get to the ice. Late, heavy, and that's where things get horrible. We know there's a couple of deadly corners. But how we will fare on them is a very different question. I hope as well it comes from the footage. Kind of how much more confident we are now with the car relative to last season. You know, a lot less kind of blipping the throttle, a lot more kind of smooth and consistent with it. Just as you obviously become more confident with the car. Oh, I hate that corner. That's exactly why. It always looks like it's pretty much flat on the way in, and you kind of remember just a bit too late. But yeah, we normally are quick through the first bits. And then the climb kind of moves all over the show once you get into the ice. Let's try and build up a little bit of an advantage where we can. Maybe the AI nursing their tyres better than me early on on this stage. I don't know. Of course, yeah, we were a stage winner last season. Still yet to win my first rally um, in the top class. Really, I'm hoping, of course, that happens this season. But consistency will pay off as well. I think I've worked tonight. You don't need to average based on last season's points. Like third place in every rally. Uh, plus obviously a few Wolf Power Stage points. And you would have been champion last season. That's just how unpredictable it was. Just talking about unpredictable. Who would have had me with a six second lead by the end of the first split? Of course, yep, for anyone wondering, it is still maximum AI on this game. We are not moving that around. I love the challenge. Sometimes I hate it, but it's the best way to try and get good. Chase the times of the best. Hence why we've obviously also got the 2 and 2 Rally League, um, where I get absolutely destroyed by the best of the best. Got a lot of really high profile runners in that. It is fantastic fun. I do love it when you get a little four-wheel drift in these things, but boy, oh boy, is it scary as well. I think, yeah, we're already starting to sort of overheat the tyres a little bit. Yeah, definitely starting to notice a little bit of understeer out the car. So we'll see how the tyres feel by the end of this stage, because sometimes it's worth sacrificing stage three. Uh, to have a bit of a better car for the Wolf Power stage, as the gap stayed pretty much level by the end of Split 2. Um, but yeah, the AI definitely are a little bit better. 
So you do get towards the ice though. Kind of mentally prepare yourself. Beautiful part of the world though. Start trying to just use the grass in places. Also, gotta be really careful. I know there's a corner immediately when you get to the full ice that I always run off on. I'm sure now the talking is gonna probably disappear. So satisfying when you get it hooked up like that. You get all the talk, all the power, all the hybrid on the exit of the corner. Yep, there you go. Immediately, the mindset changes. Look at that. <laughs> Immediately. It's like an on-off switch on this game. You are just wheel spinning now. And the game probably doesn't give you kind of the best interpretation of that in sound. And anyone that plays the game will know what I mean. Um, but yeah, you basically now just spend the next five or six minutes just wheel spinning around. But it is so cool. I do. Now I've kind of done this a bit more and understand it. It is so fun. Late open air left. Just try and flick the car in. Get it up on that grass on the inside and use that to carry you around. It might not look pretty, but it is the way you have to do it. Occasionally, yet yeah. as you can see, you just overcommit to it slightly. Just force you back out the other side. The grass is not a catch all. Yeah, I really don't need the hybrid at the moment, thank you. You can disconnect the batteries if you like. If anything, they do a better job just weighing the car down. Break as well. Slight right, 100. Four left short, 40. Three left, long. 80. Ooh, I always think that corner goes that way. Nice green for the first time since split one. Pretty much icy, I believe, right the way to the end of this stage now. And obviously, with that high speed bit towards the end, that is scary. Trying to get as close to the poles on the inside. Maybe this is the split where you often gain a load. It is very odd, like I've said, the way the timings work around here, but I'm not going to knock it. If it gives me a little bit of a helping hand. I'm going to take it because we know how ridiculous the AI are in some of the other rallies. Sometimes you just get caught out where the turbo's gone. Nah, I don't fancy it there, mate. I mean, a real conscious effort so far to try and keep it tidy up here. You know, not relying on the walls to kick me around or anything like that. Trying to keep it tidy. 
and out of danger. Obviously, it's not perfect, but when would it ever be? This is Rally. I can't do perfect. It's a five right, slowing forty. What left half long forty? Oh no, that definitely is not the sector where hopefully the gap goes up. Sierra Newville really gets himself back in contention. Surprised Ogier isn't right there as well, to be honest. This is normally his happy hunting ground. Especially, you know, it is effectively one of his home events as well. You know, he did grow up around these hills. Love that corner. Just really open it up. So you're spinning all the way up. You can tell when you are. Um, because obviously, when you have a look on the RPM, it's just flickering all over the show. Uh. Oh, close. If there's just any one of these snaps, you feel like the car can just go the other way from you. But not so far. Understeer, understeer. Six left, 80, sloping. Four left short, to six right, 70. Late, one left, keep in. 40. Right, go, 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 go. Oh, beautiful. Tucked it in. Did not scrub off the speed, though. Titans, 50. If that's the worst mistake we make on this stage, I won't Three complain. left, keep in. Still up, not by much. That gap is continuing to come down. As I said about Seb Ogier, he's still only four seconds away. Which on a stage like this is... Well, that could be gained in a corner. Whoa, damn it. Spin all the way around, thank you. Sometimes you just got to try and make the best of a bad situation. That is one of those moments. Not that I would recommend doing 360s around here. It is not the fastest way to go in Monte Carlo. But it is the way I went. Oh, this corner. Very tight, very narrow. I can't believe we're pretty much now onto the high speed bit. We are ever so slightly down on time, but again, not too worried about the front runners here. I'm not convinced this is a rally. We are in the fight for the win. I just want to beat out as many cars as possible. Especially when a lot of them would have lost time on this stage. Hopefully, we can be right back up towards the front. Oh, come on. See, that gap is starting to open up a little bit. It's not fun, but it's not a lot you can do about it. So I find maybe get good. I get a little blast down here, but it does not mean you can put your foot to the floor and commit. So you've got to tip it through there nicely. Just get on the loud pedal for a little bit and then decide when things get too scary. And also, you've got to try and keep the back end in check. We're still up somehow. Oh, we've got the horrible corner down here. Five left short, 80. Six right to the Try and keep the front 80. balance. Try and keep the back left. in check. And four right 110 kilometers. It's only about 60 miles an hour, but it feels so much faster. Oh, don't know what I hit there. Must have just been the inside curbing. Throw me out a little bit. Can we get it tidy through there? Yes, we can. Back end just kicked out of the right point. Easy, 
crest, 60. Slightly less. It's pretty much flat out to the finish. Well, I say flat out. Crest, there is one more corner, I believe, here. Right, I'm trying to scroll off some speed for. Keep it in fifth gear, though. The Don't bother leaving on the engine brake. The lead has already finished, so we have lost out in the end. Finish. But not by much. Right, by slightly more than I hoped. That's one way to make it to the finish here in Monte Carlo, but 13 seconds. Where did I lose that in the final split? That's really sad. I thought we were a bit better there, as again, end of stage two, we're going to end up sideways through the finish line. I've got no idea where we lost 13 seconds on that one. Ask for a better run through this stage than that. This pairing have set a lovely rhythm and it's paying off in spades as they are moving up the standings. Well, that is a bit of a shame then, right at the very end there. We probably lost a little bit of time with that spin, but clearly was way down in that final sector. However, we're up now ahead of Hoffman within a second, well, about a second and a half, sorry, of Elf and Evans. Top three have kind of gone, unless they have issues, but a P4 here I would be very, very happy with. Um, so, yeah, let's try and keep it clean and tidy. We get the car repaired and we'll head into stage three. Six right, here we go then. Stage number three, of course. I forgot as well. You actually get three Five, sets of the winter tyres. So we're not got any two, issues with that. But yeah, we know where we're going on this one. So hopefully we can try and deliver a good time. Um, but yeah, obviously, meant, like I said, we didn't have to do any trickery with the tyres. Obviously, we just bought on a fresh set of the winters at every service. Because, yeah, boy, oh boy, do we still need them. Because this is slippery. Five left. But hopefully we can obviously take some times. Whoa, out of the likes of Elvin, Evans, and Tanak. They are our rivals between now and the end. Ogier, Robin Pera, and Newville just a little bit too far out in front. But 12 points on the board would be good. Obviously, hopefully a few extra for the Wolf Power stage as well, which I believe... Uh, is this stage in reverse? Try and use the grass to grip up. Still not sure how I feel about that being the way you got to go about it on this game. But, you know, it is what it is, so I'm still going to use it. It's the horrible corner. I'll well, scroll off the speed so early because it is just evil. My grandmother might have gone round there quicker than me, but we've survived, and that's all I care about. We are then almost out of the ice. Seven tenths up. I was not expecting that, but we'll take it. Imagine what we could have had had we nailed back corners. There we go. We're back on the tarmac. We have got the grip now. Five left of the crest. Opens. Forty. Double caution. Five right. Six left of the crest. Forty. Come on. It's a horrible balance between quick but careful. There's a wall there. And yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, we can keep the car clean before the next service. Tip it in. Roll on the throttle. says he's not even made it to the corner. Oh, this corner down here is horrible. You can try and take so much speed in, but got to be careful on the exit. Try and trim it. Ooh, that's what I mean. Don't fall off, don't fall off. That was okay, we didn't hit anything. Don't mind losing a couple of seconds. I always forget there's that little drop on the inside because, of course, when you go the other way, you don't notice it. Yeah, now we enter a really, really fun little bit. A lot of hairpins, a lot of big braking zones, but also a lot of speed. Lean on that hybrid everywhere possible. Yeah, we are a few seconds down, though, so... Still can try and recover some of that. 
Just have no idea how much I can attack through some of these bits. But we're trying. Right, this is scary. Go that way. I mean, who just leaves all these telegraph holes out? Hate it occasionally where the tires just grip up when you're not expecting them to. Avoid the understeer. Thank you. Right, go, go, go. Almost at the finish line. Actually did a pretty good recovery job on this one, I think. He says before he's made it to the finish. Oh, that corner just tightens up on the exit because you've got all those parked cars. Still a couple of other horrible bits before the end. Always, always forget about that wall there. But through far in a couple of corners. We're going to survive in a pretty decent time as well, I think. 4.56. Nine seconds back. That was more than I was hoping it would be there. So I think we've probably lost a little bit of time to Evans and co. Um, yeah, there you go. For the section just now, and although they haven't gained any places, they haven't dropped any either. Well, a notable admission then from the top ten has got to be Cali Rovan Pera. And you can see there he lost a big chunk of time on that stage, so he's now back kind of in our fight. Five seconds covers Evans down to Hoffman. So now the podium battle is on here as Neuville still only six seconds clear of Seb Ogier. So there are fights up and down the field late on in this rally. Two more stages to go. Let's try and keep it clean through four to set us up for the Wolf Power stage. Okay, Robin Perra then has decided he wants to set the pace on this one. So clearly a bit annoyed with himself. So he still wants that podium. Whoa, okay. But yeah, this is one that we should know from previous Dirt and EA games. So hopefully we can try and have a good blast down the mountain. Never remember if we're competitive here or not. Always kind of forget this stage is in the rally. But we need to keep it clean to set ourselves up for the Wolf Power stage. This should be the conditions, though, that Robin Perra thrives. You know, living in Finland all these years. Six right. Up two left. Thirty. Three left sharp. Seventy. Eight five right. Long tightens. Sixty. Ooh. Never forget the back end always wants to overtake the front. Come on. Got to have a little bit more kind of flow in this. It can't just be point and shoot over and over. I mean, you can't see anything. Oh, no. Okay, we found some grip. I thought we were going straight off into that outside wall then. But apparently not. Like I said, though, this stage is all about just keeping it tidy for the final one. So I'm still not expecting Rob and Perra to not get a podium. He's had just that bit more pace than the rest of us. I think we're the only one that could theoretically beat him. 
this call is lethal. I remember this from back in the day. Seven seconds back, though. A slower than Pierre Loupe at the moment. Five right, 40, slight left, half long, don't cut, 140. So how aggressively do you go? Do you expect to lose a little bit more on the AI later on? Or do you just do that, apparently? Two right sharp. And four left, tightens. And one right short. And slight left, 60. Ugh. Square left, 80. Two right, and two left, half long, 100. So desperately wants to kick. And slight left, slowing 80. Five left short and late, heavy right. 160. Whoa. Slowing six left and two right, 30. Four left, half long. Right short. It's a six left. It's a two right short. I'm definitely a losing a bit of time still for Robin Ferrer. Right open, setting. But say I'm just hoping we're not losing much some of the other runners, but I would expect we are. We can just still be there with the others and hopefully get a good clean wolf power stage, then maybe there's a chance. Oh. I love it when he says don't cut here. What corner on this entire rally can you actually cut? There's like three. Oh, here we go. Some grip, hopefully. Not there, apparently. Ow. I was hoping there would be some grip now, but apparently not. 14 seconds back. We're slower than Katsuta. Wow, okay. We just gotta hope that we're quick throughout the final bit. I think so. Slight right, seventy. Five left short to slight right. Well, this certainly doesn't feel like patchy. It still feels like awful. Six right, half long, tightens three, and slight left, dry now. That's six right short. Okay, now there's some grip. Now there's some grip. Six right short, thirty. Three go, go, go. To two right short. 40, 5 right. I want to overstep the mark though, still. Take 5 left, don't cut, and 3 right, and 2 left, keep in, and slide right. And 5 left, don't cut, and 4 right short, 72 right, tightens, into 3 left, opens, half long, 60. Late, hairpin left. 30, 4 right, long tightens. And 3 left, half long, 30, hairpin right. 70. 3 right, tightens. And 3 left, half long tightens. And 1 right, 30. 3 left sharp, 40. 4 right short, 30, hairpin left. 30, slight left, 50. 3 right, half long, and 1 left. And 3 right, long, tightens, 30. 3 left, 40. Head in right. 30, caution, 5 right short. It's a 3 left, tightens 2, to 5 right short, 50. Oh, we are losing so much to Cali. 26 seconds back now. We're outside the top 10. I feel like we're getting a little bit better towards the end of this, but apparently not. Especially not if I do that. Don't fall down a ravine. Wonderful. Ah, oh, that's a shame. It's a real shame. 
Yeah, this one now is going to be where are we heading into the final couple of stages. Final stage even. Hopefully we can pick up some power stage points to soften the blow. Oh, I would love to start the year out with a podium on this rally, but it's not going to be unless something crazy happens. So I just don't get how the AI can be so fast on this one. Stage. And I've still got the better part of a minute to go. Try and drive fast to the finish. Remember, still try and keep the car clean, ready for the power stage. Through on a couple of corners, though. Yeah, that one's a bit of a shame. I'm going to be like 40 seconds back in the end. Just nothing you can do. Nothing I feels like I can do on that one. You just, you're racing blind. And the AI, of course, know exactly where they're going, and I simply don't. But, yeah, we'll see where that leaves us with one more stage to go. Um, hopefully, obviously, we're still in the fight for some points. Stage, this pairing are going to drop a place or two in the standings. It's certainly tough going out there. Well, look at that then. Tierra Neuville a bit further down the order as well. So Seb Ogier now with just a couple of stages to go. We'll take top spots then. Uh, yeah, looking at that, though, it looks like our top three pretty well cemented. We've dropped all the way down to ninth by the end of that stage. I'm hoping we can definitely get back past Takamoto Katsuta. Maybe if Lappy has a bit of a disaster, we can get close to him. Um, but yeah, that stage just knocks us completely out of contention for some of the big points. All right, come on then. Full power stage. An opportunity to pick up a few consolation points. Pierre Loubet has set the pace so far, but hopefully we can go quicker than him. We know where we're going, though. Of course, this is just the reverse of stage three. So we need to try and make sure that we deliver a good result. Keep it cool, calm, and collected. And of course, yeah. We can put a few seconds over Pierre, and that will be good. Because, of course, all the quicker people will go after me. It's just horrible, though, on these bits, because you just know the tyres don't want to grip up. See the, the winter tyres, sorry, just scrubbing along the surface. That's what I mean. Hold on to it. Thank you. That was scary. Never really still know how to go into these wall power stages. How much do you attack? The answer is normally a lot, but I really don't want to mess this up. Because, of course, we have still got a couple of points on the line here. Just try and keep it tidy. Okay, we'll take that for the end of split one. That's exactly the kind of margin I would have wanted. And that's exactly the kind of margin we needed if I'm going to immediately throw it away. Five left, half Got the hybrid left, boost on the exit, not the end of the world. So when we get up towards the top of the hill, that'll be the scary stuff. Trying to keep it in the middle of the road. Oh, come on. Got to get earlier on the brakes. We're kind of getting a bit lucky with those. It's pinging us back in the right direction, but I don't want to rely on it. Whoa. Oh, I went the wrong way with the gears. <laughs> Any kind of momentum we would have carried off there is gone. Oh, this bit's horrible, though. You've run a bit wide through there, and then you've got to get it dialed back in. Such a road is high speed, but not fun. Corner, we mucked up going the other way. 
was better. Still five seconds up. Right, I want to try and make sure I see the beat cat suitor, but that right, kind of comes hand in hand with setting a good time here. I just remember that corner. Scary! Oh, no, 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 no. Go, 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 go. I have way too many offs. And slight left, 60. One left, tightens. 100. Slight left of crest, 80. Remember, Pierre Louvet is not going to end up being a benchmark here. The grip now starting to leave us once more. Really got to just get on the power in one smooth motion. Use that hybrid to carry you up the hill. Sometimes it favours patience, sometimes it favours just mashing the throttle to the floor early. And trying to just manage it. Oh no. Now it gets scary. Actually, that feels alright. Still got that horrible corner though. Oh no, there's, there goes the grip. There goes the grip. Just happens immediately. Seven seconds up, though. Slowing, slight left, Just got to try and get to the top of the hill. Two right. I just feel right. so slow. You think how much more of the AI attacking through there than I am? It's probably a lot. Got to just hope that we're doing enough. You can only drive as quickly as I can drive here. Final stage of Monaco. We've certainly learnt a lot over the course of this rally. That's it. Go, 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 go. Still staggering how these cars can put the power down in these conditions. You know, the technology in these cars is just insane. And avoiding things like that is even more difficult. Oh, where am I going? That way, that way, that way. Just nudge the brake. Oh, and these final few corners are so messy. But we've got to keep it. Come on. Good time. Wolf power stage points, please. Oh, that understeer is awful. But over the finish line we'll go. 5.05, 10 seconds up on Pierre Loubet. That is sensibly, I reckon, what we can do here. Um, but hopefully that'll be enough. We've damaged the car after the finish as well. But we'll make it to the line. Will that grant us some Wolf Power stage points? Will it put us back ahead of Takamoto Katsuta as well? Come on. A brilliant effort on that stage sees this crew move up in the event standings. Great job. Happy with that in the end. Gutted seven tenths away because we probably lost that in literally the final corner of the entire rally. But we beat out a few of the drivers that we wanted to beat out there, especially uh, Takamoto Katsuta as well there. Plus four Wolf Power stage points will give us a handy little boost at the end of the rally. Taking a look at our final results then. Yep, it's P8 there. We were still eight seconds away uh, from Lappy, so not really uh, not really sure. We could have done a lot more than that, but of course, yeah, with those Wolf Power stage points, uh, we will beat him out at the end of the event there. But Seb Ogier, of course, again, the champion, and again, another Monte Carlo rally victory this weekend. He's had a really, really good run there. Elvin Evans just about beat out Thierry Neuville uh, when all is said and done. So a surprise podium there uh, for the Welshman. But yeah, we're, we're pretty happy with that, of course. Eight points in comparison to last season here. I don't think we picked up a single... We might have got one Wolf Power stage point, actually, I feel like, last time around here. So I'm pretty happy with that. Sidereidis missing out on points in the end there. He was a minute 20 behind Pierre Loubet, uh, but in 11th place to start out the season for him. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with the way that event has ended up. And even better than that, we are ahead of M Sport Ford as well, which of course is the other goal this season. And one point behind Hyundai, so that's good. Uh, hopefully myself and Hoffman are going to be able to continue that form uh, and obviously try and fight. I don't think we'll be able to beat Toyota just because they've got three of the best drivers on the grid. Um, but, you know, that is pretty good done. Well, there we go then.
thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, please do make sure to leave a like, get yourself subscribed. We will return tomorrow as we head back into Rally Sweden. That one surely is a good opportunity for us as well. Um, but yeah, the fight is well and truly on this season. We've got to score the points where we can and try and take the victories if possible in a few places. Um, but yeah, we will return tomorrow ready for Rally Sweden.